I think you should get a different separate microphone for streaming so that the microphone for pod is always pristine. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Mm. You have to keep it pure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. You don't want a new microphone for daddy? <laughs> Way too broad, a show and tell program for really, really ridiculously excited grown-ups. I'm Hannah, and these are my co-hosts, Aaron and Ben. Hi, Aaron. Greetings to ye, Hannah. Hello, Ben. Greetings to ye all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new inclusive, um, like you say you guys, you say ye all. <laughs> ye all. <laughs> yep. That's why not just y'all? Because it's more inclusive to say you all because it includes old timey folk <laughs> and because it's fun it's like how how you just end some plurals with a z uh-huh. and it looks or no x with an x like folks mm-hmm. and it looks like it's supposed to be more inclusive but it's really just because it's more fun i went to a um seminar a few couple years ago about like um, queer people making babies in different ways, and it was called um, <laughs> "It's Conceivable" <laughs> instead of "Conceivable." It was conceivable, but spelled with like a Q U, like "Conceivable." <laughs> and I like still don't understand. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's so much. Oh, like queer? I guess so. <laughs> like, it- do we think that's what it is? <laughs> what? That's all it could, my first, that's yeah, all it was, could be. Yeah, right? my first instinct was like quantitative. Yeah, it's just called it. it's conceivable. <laughs> I kind of hate Ben's that. Face. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, Especially because well, like, it's very you like can be like a k sound also. <laughs> so maybe it was supposed to be pronounced. It's conceivable, and and yet, but then, but saying? then you then it's just there's no, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Co- conceivable. Yeah, it's conceivable. Yeah, yeah. We always, we were definitely called it. It's conceivable. Yeah, um, conceivable. as you should. It's very. It's it's like I I hate it too, but in like a very like I hate it, and it's like that's my community. Like you know <laughs> what I mean? Like I hate it, and like like, like that's just like just something my community would do. It's like, like the specific- way that you hate the memes your mom sends you from Facebook. That kind of way. Like you still love. The place it came from. It's just no. It's like it's like it's like uh, if your family, someone in your family, tells a really bad joke, and it's yeah. just very like of your family mm-hmm. and in your family. It's like that. It's like it's very. It's 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 unsurprising in a like this is just like a, a like a queer Dur- like Durham not Durham but like triangle <laughs> hippie kind of like weird <laughs> <laughs> weird like. Doesn't land right. I hate it, but also like love it. Because, like, <laughs> is in my community and of my community is a product. I feel of my like it's actually not, not that surprising. bad if you pronounce it conceivable. It's qu- yeah, because you, you. But why? Well, I don't know. But you also. I, re- I just realized now you also changed the vowel sound when you were saying it. Yeah. From uh to ah. Conceivable. Yeah. Yeah. Because you really have to highlight. Cause, well, because quan- qu- it's not also q u okay. followed by the uh is like harder to say. Than like quan. conceivable, quan- conceivable is kind of hard to say. It's conceivable, yeah. And yeah, it's very, and it's like yeah, it's very it. extremely <laughs> slightly better. It is really just as bad still. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's one of those things. It's like, but why? Yeah, did you do it this way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was already a pun. Like it was <laughs> for yeah, no, you. great pun. Yeah, it's conceivable. Yeah, I that's love true. it. <laughs> Boom! So good, <laughs> and it was great because it like it was touching on all of the different ways all different types of queer families can you know have babies. Yeah, and uh, it's it was a great it's a great thing, just like a funny, <laughs> conceivable. <laughs> uh, what am I drinking? You may ask. You may be asking yourselves that. Are you wondering? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm first this week. 
No. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you you have to say that after Hannah goes. Though. Yeah, you're right. I did it the wrong time. <laughs> to really, to really have it land. I'll do it again. Imp- <laughs> yeah, when it's a literal impossibility, you could be first. That's when you have to say it. Deep, deep in the middle to end of the episode, <laughs> have that. Have that realization. Yeah. And be and be truly confused. You got it. You're confused and confusing. <laughs> it's an art. It's an art form. Yeah. I All have, right, what's up? I have two drinks. Water, no ice. And I, lots of water this time. That's different. Hey. Yeah. Great. Got a fresh one. And I have a GT's Synergy Raw Kombucha Gingerade. Oh, uh, so good. Mm-hmm. I, I spied that cap. When mm-hmm. I just spied the cap, I was like, that's You really GT's. just held that up mostly out of camera. Did I? <laughs> I don't I, I don't have myself visible right now. Hey, there it is. Well, no one that's listening can see it, so it's fine. I mean, I could tell by the cap, Ben, so it doesn't I can't matter. I by the cap. I just remembered that... We used these bottles uh, as part of our centerpieces at our wedding. Oh. We, like, cleaned them up. I think it was... No, it wasn't these. I think that brand is gone now, actually. They were, like, a little bit thinner. And, yeah, we drank, like, a lot of kombucha just specifically for the bottles. They were the ones that we put the baby's breath in. Um, What? So. Baby's breath. The baby's breath and the the lights. This is not going to help anybody. What's baby's breath? It's a... It's a it's a flower. Oh, it's a little I didn't, white flowers. Okay. <laughs> I thought you ca- you captured baby's breath in the bottle <laughs> as wedding favors for the wedding. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jack's here to make a scene. Come on, buddy. We knew that would happen. Oh, but you know, I needed him to be here because he wanted to. And and earlier today, you know, you know when your pets just like really pissing you off and you're just really mad at them. And then mm-hmm. they come over and want to like cuddle, and you're just like, "Oh, you're actually very good, and this feels much better than being angry at you." Like that mm-hmm. sort of thing. That happened, uh, but like f- three minutes before I was supposed to be in here, and so when he followed me in, like I had just reconciled with him. I couldn't let him, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't just Aww. kick him out. So, so here he is to make a scene. We'll see how long it lasts for, but. Anyway, that's what I that's what I got. What that's what I'm drinking. Aaron, what are you drinking? I have a nice water and let's see if I can get this right. I have a I'm reading the tag. Vanilla bean macaron tea. Mm, wow, first try. Drink a lot, never say right. <laughs> Is that the one that you always think has French in it? Yeah. Yeah. I always want to say French vanilla <laughs> bean macaron. I just French macaron vanilla bean. I just don't know. <laughs> There's something about the There's flavor that's that reminds you of France. <laughs> Have you been to France? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to France, and uh, no, <laughs> no, and no. Cool. Good questions. Thank you for your your great questions. <laughs> Ben, what are you drinking? I got water. All the ice is melted. Oh. Mm. That's got, it? I got lychee calpico. Oh, wow. Oh. The yogurt wow. drink? The it- yogurt drink. Do you have ice in that? Yeah. Hmm. Why not? She's not approve. I feel like I can't properly explain how not like a yogurt beverage it is and how much more it is like a soda. Hmm. But not carbonated. Not carbonated. No. See, so I think you lost me at yeah. not, not carbonated and it's a soda. Yeah, truly. So, I think that's well, it's the a, only Technically, thing. it is a non-carbonated soft drink. It's a flat yogurt beverage. Yeah, it's fucking delicious. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got up so I can, Oh, go ahead. Yeah, what's up? Well, I was saying, speaking of... Sorry, I'm trying to find this event <laughs> so that I can show you the exact spelling. Speaking of uh, any questions, it is David S. Pumpkin season. Mm-hmm. Is it? 
Mm-hmm. September. Well, it's, it's almost fall, motherfucker. It's, it's, you know, I feel like we get a good two months out of it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, especially since we're probably not going to go to any Halloween parties. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm all about it. I watch spooky videos all year long, but they do. Yeah. There are more of them this time of year, which I love. I love that for me. Um. What's uh, your upfront? It was so foggy this morning. That's not my upfront, but that was pretty spooky too. So, for the record, all right. Sorry, um, you get only get one up front, so that was your upfront. <laughs> So, All right, next. <laughs> Who's first? <laughs> all right, I just want to. I just wanted to say that we've all been following up on Aaron's w- obsession from last week of trying out Marco Polo. Oh shit! He just tapped his butt on my keyboard and it changed my view. Um, uh oh, <laughs> he's making a scene, and uh, it uh, it's delightful. I love it. Great suggestion. Yeah, Would it's recommend. Off. I'm so- I'm so glad. Yeah, and we shared it with our family, and we did a big family group, mm. and it's great, and I really love it, and I feel closer to everybody, and it's so nice. It's so fun. It was like, Ian at first was like, I do not want to be in that big family group, and I was like, I am not surprised. And then, like, a few days in, watching me, like, laugh at it and stuff, he was like, you could add me to the big family group. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I was like, okay. I love it. I love how we set it up. I set set it up specifically to be opt in, mm-hmm. which I think was nice for everybody. And there are people in our family. I wish they would join because I really do think they would like it. I was talking to. I actually have a. I meant to bring that as an upfront too. I was talking to Beck, who followed up. She listened to the segment and um, did some more digging into the privacy stuff. In comparing it to Snapchat. So Beck and I agree that there's like something to it that's hard to articulate yeah, to there people. Is. Like it's just, there's, it's just really nice. I think it might be like just like seeing somebody in their home and in their surroundings just makes you feel like more in touch. Like you just feel like you're more in their orbit, maybe. Mm. Like I just like, like seeing like Ben walking around his apartment, right? Like it makes me feel like. I know what Ben is doing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, the secret cameras I set up also help me feel that way. But, <laughs> but, but another thing, like, cause I called it Snapchat for old people. Beck looked into it and they actually have a much better privacy policy than Snapchat. Snapchat basically like sells your data to third parties who then uses them, you know, uses it for like gross advertising stuff. Mm-hmm. But since Marco Polo doesn't advertise to you, they don't have any incentive to like do that. Mm -hmm. So, basically, it's, like, not only is it nice in a way that's hard to describe, and they really need to get their marketing team on it, Mm. but it's um, better. They're not selling all your shit. So It is quite different from Snapchat. Yeah, it really is. There's, like, something about the fact that you're immediately live to whoever you're talking to, I think, that makes it very different Mm -hmm. because you can't obsess i mean you can do a little bit of obsessing about like your angle and stuff before you start but you can't just like record and re-record or like reconsider and un unsend some mm. i mean you can delete things but people will probably have already seen it especially if it's like in a big group like like earlier today i accidentally sent like a weather update to the wrong group of people and it was like our big family group and i just had to roll with it because i was already like halfway through my weather report when i like realized it <laughs> and it like turned I into like a nice that. conversation and it led with to us getting people. an adorable video of maddie's dog in a in a cute raincoat yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> a happy accidents <laughs> mhm bob ross would like ross, it rob, yeah, rob. rob more like rob boss all right rob rob boss has joined our <laughs> family group so that's exciting mhm he's dead but it's just nice. Yeah. Oh, man. And we had such a funny, like, whole family bit. Like, <laughs> my dad started it by, like, during the Marco Polo, he kind of, like, turned his phone to the side, assuming it would flip, but it doesn't do that. <laughs> and so then my little brother, in his next video, just, like, during, just talked about something totally, like, what he was making for dinner, but without, like, smirking or, like, doing anything, <laughs> just, like, turned his phone <laughs> You know, in a complete circle. Through, and then, like, everyone in the family recorded one yeah, like that. It was so great. fucking funny. <laughs> My favorite was when Kylie recorded it, like, at midnight because it was when she stopped working. <laughs> and, like, she didn't start doing it at first. And then, like, towards the end, she, like, started turning it. That's like, oh, my God. It 
It's so fucking funny. Because I had forgotten about it. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, hey, thanks. It was great to catch up. And I just finished working. And then it was just, I was like, oh, my God, it's starting. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fun. It's been fun. It's fun. It's been nice. <laughs> So, if you use Marco Polo and you can think of a compelling way to pitch it to people who might not be willing to adopt it, uh, let us know. Yeah. Adopt it as their child? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Permanently conceivable. forever. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find anything about it. It's conceivable on the internet. I need Molly to. Can you help me confirm the spelling of its... Conceivable. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to light the podcast candle. Oh no, all of this has been invalid. <laughs> We're gonna have to start over. Um, ben, would it be um, cu- cutting in on your obsession at all if I talked about your stream, your birthday stream this week? Nope. On Birth- Ben's day stream. On Ben's birthday, he did birthday stream. And a birthday stream. That was also so fun. We helped him to mm-hmm. solve mysteries on a pirate ship. And I, I want to do it ship. again. It was quite exciting. Yeah, that game's fucking hard. I mean, mm-hmm. It's not my obsession, so we can just talk about it now. It's it was return it's return of the Ober Din. Mm-hmm. And you're like a you're like a nineteenth century insurance inspector for the West India Company, is that what it's called? East um, India Company. East India, yeah. Something something India. And uh, you can, like, go into the memories of how people died, and your job is to figure out how everyone, the fate of everyone on this boat, whether they died or escaped, and if they died, how they died, and who killed them. And it's like, you have to piece together all these puzzle pieces from, like, these sort of snapshot memories. It's really fucking hard. Cool. Yeah, because it's not just like you see it from their perspective. Actually, you don't at all see it from their perspective. You, like... Wa- you can walk around the memory and like learn other things. But it's things the only, but like not while it's playing. Like it, like you enter it, you 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 hear some dialogue sometimes or some sounds, and then it's like a frozen snapshot that you can walk around in, mm-hmm. and you have to like piece things together based on that. It's very cool, and the animation style is very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I might I might do that again this weekend or something. That's fun. That would be so That fun. was great because I ended up working late that day. So I watched your stream and that was nice. And then when you got off, ZFG was actually playing Tony Hawk 1 and 2. <laughs> and I w- ended up working really late and finishing up right as he like finished. He was like trying to speed run. He was doing a- some speed running of that game. So that was fun. Cool. Flipping shout out. So- um, Molly found it right away. I have an update. <laughs> It's called it's Quincy Q O N. Oh, that's worse than I yeah, even thought. Yeah, here we go. Wait, there what? we go. Yeah. What? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, love it. What the fuck? Come. It's well. That actually does make me think they want you to pronounce it like the conceivable. Same as, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> did but anyone? Like, well, letters- did anyone? When you got there, were they like "Welcome to whatever" and pronounce it? No, they pronounce it. It's conceivable, but I feel like. <laughs> but when we were talking to it, with uh, talking about it to our friends, like, "Oh, are you going to go to It's Conceivable?" Like, we had to call it. You do have like, to because you have to. Yeah. <laughs> and I is the letter C heteronormative? <laughs> is my question. Wow. <laughs> Good question. Great question. Clearly. <laughs> wow. Well, that's fascinating. Mm-hmm. It was a great, it was a great uh, little seminar there, but I believe it. Oh man, I'm sad to see this on the. There's a banner on this event. Says so this event has passed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This event has gone to event heaven. <laughs> um, it's so sad. <laughs> Inconceivable. Inconceivable. <laughs> wow. Two years ago it passed. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> um, all right. Cool. Well, then, should we pop in? 
Yeah. Did I have another thing? No. That was it. Wait, isn't Ben going first? Oh, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's ben, it was Ben's birthday this week. Happy birthday again, Ben. Oh, happy birthday, Ben. Thanks. And happy anniversary to Ian. It's it's our five year wedding anniversary on wow. Saturday. Wow. Ridiculous. Wow. And it was Lucas and Federica's one year this week too. Wow. Oh yes. That was Busy yesterday. Busy week for for the fam. Big week for wow. the fam. Yeah. Big week. Big week. Big hitters. I forget which Happy one they birthday. said they're going to celebrate because they like got officially married September 9th and then got like Fancy had a marriage. wedding October 26th. They had a beach, a beach legal beach wedding. <laughs> beach legal. <laughs> It's like international well, law. Our, our ceremony was this, but we're beach legal. Yeah, there's on a the beach 10. law marriage. It's like a common law marriage. <laughs> it's maritime law, yeah. technically. <laughs> well, when it's high tide, and then it's not when it's low tide. It's, it's maritime law when it's high tide, and beach law when it's low tide. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Which is unfortunate they live in Wyoming now, because it's totally irrelevant uh, yes. there. <laughs> yeah. It's not valid there. Yeah. That's why they had to do yeah. the second one. Mm-hmm. Anyway. And then if you're in international waters, it's a whole other thing. So <laughs> It's a big week for late additions to the family, with Ben being the first, but, <laughs> but late, and then Ian, and then <laughs> Federica. You get it. Because okay. I'm the youngest, so I'm the yeah. latest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> well, happy birthdays to Ben's end marriages. <laughs> uh, all right, let's pop in. I'm first. What was I going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> your posturing was so like, you're about to launch into something. Like, it was very much like a... Four score and seven years ago. You had a speech prepared. <laughs> okay, was it about a puzzle? Was it about a video? Was it about a YouTuber? Was it about a streamer? Was it about a thing you watched? Was it Dune? Are you reading a book? I did Are watch you- Dune. Oh my god, it was so bad. Uh, I mean, that's bad. <laughs> that's what I've heard. <laughs> um, God damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me see if I can remember it. And if I can't, then I'll talk about Dune. Puzzle. Art. Uh, Fan. Ian, do you remember what I said I was going to talk about? Gardening. Game. Bean. Uh, Okay, apparently I said I'd wing it. So I'm going to talk about Dune. Okay. Would you like to delay your initiative? (laughs) I'd like to ready an action. (laughs) Um, No, I... um, What's that from? From D&D. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think my actual obsession probably has been, like, Marco Polo this week, but since we talked about that last week, um, one thing that did happen this week was the trailer for Dune, the new Dune, came out, um, which I don't know when it actually, it's the sequel to Dune, the new Dune. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Um, When does it- Dune, the new Dune, it's Dune time. (laughs) Um, uh, it stars Timothée Chalamet and... <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that something you did? Or is that from something? No, it's not. <laughs> I like that so much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, okay, it comes out in December. What? I mean, that's like actually closer to how they would pronounce it in French, isn't it? Can you, can you please just say it again? She's her mouth like gives up like three quarters of the way through his last name. It's uh <laughs> Timothée Chalamet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really understand. Like I, I so like I know that everybody is like obsessed with him lately and I don't fully understand why. Nothing that he's been in has really like broken through to my age bracket, I guess. But, um... Mm. Uh... What about small ladies? Excuse me? Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> the small... Oh, the small women the folk? Small, yeah, the small... The small... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I he was it. in... He was quite good in that. Isn't no, he I believe Lady it. Bird? Huh? 
Isn't he also in Lady Bird? Did I make that up? I didn't see that either. Maybe I did. Oh. I think you did. I feel like you he's really been liked in, it. in several <laughs> movies with Sheer Sharon and. <laughs> I think you saw it and you really liked it. I might have seen it and really liked it. <laughs> okay, so maybe you're just full of shit then? I either have seen it and really liked it or I haven't seen it. I don't remember which one. <laughs> yeah, he's in, he he's was in, in that. He was in Call Me By Your Name, which I really want to see. I, I read the that. book. I had the book read to me. I don't think I saw it. Um, I there didn't are, see that. <laughs> uh, there are other face, people think, in it. Can we talk about them, too? <laughs> but I think it's Face Bones. Huh? I think that's why people like him. Face Bones. <laughs> Face bones. <laughs> I think we, I think people like his face bones. Oh yeah, like his like the bones inside his face. Yeah, yeah. They think- well, and the ones outside. His face. <laughs> Both. Because they think he's, they think that they're they're pleasing to look at. So you mean? I think so. That's my that's my theory. Uh, yeah, I'm no I'm no judge of this. <laughs> Wait, but he was an Interstellar. Is he the little boy in Interstellar? Did I see that? <laughs> did I like it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Someone just tell me what to do. Did I write that movie? <laughs> I made that. I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't see this. No, I would remember Matthew McConaughey in space. I didn't see Interstellar. Yeah. He anyway, is Interstellar. He's the star of it, but there's also other people like Zendaya's in it. I like her. Um, uh, what's his face from, uh, I saw his name a minute ago, Jason Momoa, um, from Game of Thrones. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, and Aquaman. And Aquaman. Oh, cheer <laughs> beer. So when we saw the trailer for this this week, I mentioned to Ian that I knew nothing about Dune. I had always thought that it was, uh, like a post apocalyptic, um, <clears throat> story, um, not like sci fi at all. Or I thought it was more like, um, like when people talked about like the spice must flow, that was like the only reference that I had ever heard. And I thought spice was like the, the thing that every warring faction needed, like, like water and in, in, in some, uh, in a lot of post-apocalyptic movies, I just thought spice was like the thing they were all fighting over. I don't spice know. Spice is life. So, so I had no clue at all. And once that became clear to Ian, he was like, do you think maybe we should watch, the original Dune, he was like, I, we can stop if you don't like it, because it is really long. Um, but uh, yeah, we watched it all last night, and I was like royally confused. But I do have some thoughts on it. <laughs> How long is it? Um, it's two hours and... I feel like he said two hours and 40 minutes, but let me see. Mm. Uh, I'm seeing two different running times on Wikipedia. Dude. I'm seeing 136 and 186, neither of which My are two mind. hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> Sting's in this thing. Mm-hmm. Sting's in it. He has barely anything to do. Um, so the <laughs> so I'm not going to like recount Dune or anything, but I'm going to tell you what I thought of the um, movie, the old movie. And um, have you guys seen it? Have 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 y'all seen it? Either of you? Fuck no. Have you? I haven't seen it, and I haven't read it, but I have played the board game. Oh, uh, so you probably know more about the story than I do, honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty much an expert. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, one thing is, Dune is, is like, a series of books, uh, I guess. Someone listening to this is, like, really annoyed that I'm the one trying to explain this, because <laughs> I don't know anything about it. But Ian tells me it's, like, a, it's like a long... Um, very you know, cult classic, like really intricate story in a series of books. So to try to turn that into like one movie, it also was a mini series, and I think they might have that might have been like a better approach because to take all of that story and and all of that like inner monologue from all these different like sides of the story and like cram it into two hours was um horrendously difficult. I'm concerned about how the new movie's even going to do it, although it looks, like, much more fun to look at um, in a lot of ways. Um, but, like, <laughs> their their solution for this in the 1984 movie um, was to do, like, a fuck ton of voiceovers. So anytime that there was stuff going on on the screen that you needed, like, 
um, that you needed like more understanding than they had been able to shoot. Like it kind of made me wonder if they had shot the whole thing. And then when they did the test screenings, realized that like nobody understood anything that was going on and then had to like go back through and put these voiceovers in because like they didn't even leave room for them in some cases, it felt like. But like they, um, everybody you could read everybody's mind and some people whispered when they when they were in their like inner monologue but other people like if you weren't looking at the screen you wouldn't even realize you were hearing their thoughts you would think they were just speaking <laughs> like it was like really inconsistent like wow. um so every once in a while ian because i was doing a puzzle ian would have to be like they're not saying this out loud and i'd be like oh okay um <laughs> <laughs> so your movie translator yeah for- he really is. Arts and crafts. He does so much for me. There was a, um, there was a, um, this, there's this grand, I have to imagine it's supposed to be this grand, um, deep love between, uh, the main character and a, a person that he meets on a planet that he's like, uh, traveled to. And they, I mean, <laughs> from them meeting to them, like, uh, being in love, the only thing in between those two things was just this montage of the two of them like kissing in water and talking about how much they loved each other. Like that was it. Like there was clearly supposed to be a whole relation that was just supposed to be like uh, them telling us like, okay, they're in love now. And that's like all you fucking get. <laughs> so I was like, Oh my God. Okay. I guess. And then Ian kept being like, there's no time. We have to get to the next thing. Cause like the cut also. <laughs> <laughs> This is a big book. <laughs> yeah, as the movie, exactly. As the movie went on, I felt like the beginning had like decent pacing. And then as the movie went on, it just got like more and more and more frantic. Like every, every scene was like jump cut into like the middle of another scene. Like, I don't know what went on in the editing room. I guess there was like some changing of hands with directors um, in the course of producing this movie. Mm. So, you know, I think it might have had some issues there as well, where there was like several incomplete visions kind of jammed together. Um, but mm. it was, I mean, I will say this, it, um, it was really fun to look at, except for the villain was like the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life um, ever. But that, you know, he's the bad guy. So that's, that's okay, I guess. And, um, and it, and like the costuming was really interesting. Um, it had like, Ian described it as like fifth element vibes, but without the color. Like it was like the color palette was greatly reduced, but that sort of like, you know, hmm. everything looks futuristic, but in this really dusty way. <laughs> like it's kind of <laughs> like that. Um, so like I would say like, it's fun to watch. Like if you're not expecting it to be um an amazing cinematic experience, I I would say I would like probably some more conceivable that you're going to have time to watch this movie than you're going to have time to read all the books. So, but it's not going to like really prepare you <laughs> for like to understand what's going on. Um so if that's what you're looking I'm for, sorry. don't do this movie. Did you say it's more conceivable? <laughs> I didn't, but I spelled it the same. <clears throat> okay, cool. <laughs> I'm I'm looking through the IMDb photos and I see a picture of of Sting in like a diaper with wings on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool as hell, dude. Why are you talking shit about this movie? For no reason, too. Like, oh, and oh, and the villains planet. So also they they're very unclear about, and I think part of it is the way that space travel works in this movie. But they're very unclear at all times about what planet they're on, like when they've gone from one planet to another. You know what's good. Like uh, there's like I know there's oh Ian's. Uh, I mean producers texting me. Holy shit! This outfit Sting is in. Ian thinks uh, Ian thinks uh. I should attempt to summarize the plot. He thinks that would be fun. Um, I, I'll tell you what I thought happened in in short. <laughs> I think that's the best. Yeah, I think I think what happened is there's this young boy, or he's not young, he's a young man. He's very talented. He has um he has a uh, uh he's the son of this really popular king on some planet. He's not a king, but he's like a king. And he has um a concubine. So his, his so the the <laughs> so far so good. The uh the main character's mother is the king's concubine and was only supposed to bear him daughters, but she bore him a son out of love 
because uh, he wanted a son, I guess, even though, like, he was only supposed to have sons with his wife, whatever, like, patriarchal bullshit. And then, um... Is there, like, technology <laughs> in this world where they can decide that? I don't, you know, I had that same question, as too. Now? <laughs> there is, like, magic to some degree, so Ian was thinking maybe they have ways to control that on the, like, woman's end of it, maybe. Hmm. Um, there's also I, technology, isn't it- but... It's never made. Isn't clear. the spermies? I thought the spermies decide that. <laughs> um, I mean, so his mom and a lot, like a some, there's some sect that his mom is from that like has something called the weirding way, which you never know that's what it's called until three quarters of the way through the movie. But it's like a, <laughs> it's like a, like a type of magic that is like, w- like woven through words or whatever. So I don't know. So then, um. <sighs> He and his dad and a bunch of other people are going to this planet, and they, on this planet they make this thing, or they mine this thing called spice. And spice is something that is needed throughout the galaxy because it's essential for space travel. Because like the um, the people who who do the like help facilitate the space travel, eventually they turn into big uh, big uh, like giant space worms from doing it. But they basically use spice to fold space in on itself to get you from one place to another without having to travel Mm. anywhere so it's like their version of like like warp travel right but it needs this Mm. thing called spice and it's like mostly comes from this or only comes from this planet so and then also for some reason they want to kill him and his dad and i don't really know why because somebody said they wanted him dead and so they just didn't want him dead so this bad guy who's from this other planet where everybody is sweaty all the time all the time (laughs) And the bad guy, he floats and he's covered in boils all over his face. He, and and he, like, murders p- people for fun and is very, unfortunately, like, queer-coded. Like, the scene you were talking oh, about bummer. with, um, uh, with Sting, where he's in that, like, cod piece thing. So Sting is, like, a henchman for this villain guy. And he, like, comes mm-hmm. out from this, like, weird fucking steam room that he was in for no reason. He just, like, at the end of a scene, just, like, comes out of a steam room. And then and then the villain guy just looks at him and is like, oh, Guelph, my, <laughs> my beautiful boy, or something like that. Like, they're not, it's not his son, so it's, mm. you know, and... <clears throat> and that's not his name. I don't remember what his name is. I just, I'm, 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 Sting. <laughs> it's, it just calls him Sting. So, <laughs> so, so they, so they have like all these defenses. Oh, and also every what he learns when he gets to the planet is that um, uh, everywhere that they mine spice, there are these giant worms that live. It's like a desert planet, and there are these giant worms that live under the sand. Like the one in like the eleventh hour, um, and they uh, um, are always around when the spice mm-hmm. is around, and they are drawn to the um, to rhythmic things. So, like walking mm-hmm. on top of the sand draws them, if, unless you walk like really out of rhythm, like you have to walk like a fool to, to like not get them. And they have these things called thumpers, which do like a more rhythmic sound than walking to draw them away from where they are but they still are always around the spice as if they're like protecting it or something mm. and this is a big element of the board game oh is it oh, okay interesting the the big worm <laughs> and and the spice and uh um oh and like the the main character guy he somehow understands a lot of stuff on the planet without ever having been there before and people keep on thinking about this prophecy and talking about this prophecy that is never stated aloud what the prophecy says or if there's like more than one prophecy or if it's like it's just people will just be like oh he's saying that thing like the prophecy but it's a different thing every time it's just like it was a really long prophecy and no one ever bothered to say it aloud to anybody who you know in front of a camera so then um (laughs) (laughs) so the you know there's like a betrayal and the and the bad guy comes and he kills his dad and then he, um, he and his mom, spoilers. he and his mom have to run away. This is like all at the beginning of the fucking movie. He and his mom have to oh run away and hide <laughs> from the villains. And, um, they run into this tribe of people who are like local to the planet. But this is another thing I wanted to talk about in the, in the 1984 movie. They're like supposed to be the natives, but they're all also white. Everybody in this movie is white. And um, I think that's part of what I like about the look of the new movie is that it looks like they at least tried to cast people who look like they are like natives of someplace. Like, like they're, you know, they're not like, 
they're not just like the same like I thought they were runaways from like whatever and they no, they were just supposed to be like people who are from there. For I mean, and it's never explained why how all these like humanoids got to all these different planets, but like whatever. So then he like immediately becomes like their like their like head general and they become like basically this sect of like um uh they he teaches them all the weirding way I was talking about before and they basically have like this little machine that they put their words through and it shoots like word bullets out and blows things up. And that's like how he and he's like, we have to control the spice and then the emperor will have to deal with us. And I'm like, who's the emperor? Because the only time we ever saw the emperor was in the very first scene in the movie that I forgot happened. And so I never understood that. And then at a certain point, even though they're winning, he's like, I have to drink poison water. No man has ever survived it, but I have to drink it to get enough power. And then he drinks the poison water and he's like, the worms are the spice. The spice is the worms. And all the worms show up and they're like looking at him, but they're not attacking and then um that makes him win oh and also he has this little sister (laughs) (laughs) he has has this little sister who can control people's minds but they don't use her until right at the end for some reason (laughs) she's the best part of the movie she was really underutilized in my opinion wow now that i've spoiled Dune probably, probably not, because I I don't couldn't understand. I don't it. feel like I still know what's going on. <laughs> that now you know exactly how I felt. I think we should um, move along to Aaron. What's your obsession? Wait, I thought Ben was going first. <laughs> I'm first. You fucking did it. <laughs> I feel like the prime. The primes have been pumped. The pumps have been primed for me to watch Doom, the new Dune with Timothee Tinman. <laughs> and I have I try have tried to read the book, but it failed. I'm just it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Um Okay, I have an obsession this week. It's crossword puzzles. Ah. Oh fun. Should I do the New York yes. Times mini one while we're while you're talking? Totally. Yes. Ben, are you doing those every day? I forgot about it, but I was for a bit. But it stopped. Mm. Yeah, you haven't been posting your time. Have you been posting your time I ever? Never, I never once posted my time. Why not? Let me give the, let me give the listener some context. background. Yeah. Some context. So, if the leader was my big brother, some context. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I give the listeners some context. <laughs> so my big brother, my my position is qu- crossword puzzles. <laughs> 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 With a Q. Anything I do needs to be free. I'm I'm bo- abolishing the heteronormative C <laughs> from the beginning of any any words and uh, replacing it with a Q. Um, so my big brother uh, posited in not he didn't posit he proposed in um, our family Slack to do the mini cross New York Times mini every day and post our times and it caught on like wildfire I would say mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think there's like how many of us are in this channel there's eight people in this channel <laughs> but it was a popular idea and it's been super fun so we've been doing the New York Times mini and I've been pretty bad at it but you know. I'm talking with my mom. My mom is a regular crossword. One oh five. Nice. Oh, on your phone too. That slows. Yeah. That slows a body down. Um. Yeah, I got one forty today. Not good. But you know, talking to my mom. My mom's a big crossword doer. Our grandma, our shared grandma, was a huge crossword puzzler. I think your parents are both crossword puzzlers. At least your dad is. Apparently, and, and I did not realize that. Shout out to Uncle Brown. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, in talking to my mom, you know, she's like, crossword puzzles are like, it's like, that's a skill is, you know, like knowing how to do a crossword puzzle. And like, there's like all sorts of like things to, you know, it's like you, yeah, you learn more and you get better at it, but also you just like get better at doing crosswords. Mm -hmm. And so I subscribe to the New York Times games and I've been doing the big crossword and I've been doing the mini crossword. And it's just been a lot of fun. I've just been having a lot of fun with it. I've been going back and doing, like, um, my brother shared an article, uh, 
What is it? Do do do. Where do you? Bup, what bup. channel are you posting your times in? NYT Mini Crossword. Oh, I didn't join that you, channel. Oh, you didn't join that channel. You flip. <laughs> I'm gonna add you. You flip and flip. You flip and flip and flip. I just started doing the big one today, and I have not finished it yet. I've been going for over an hour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I it's been taking me an average of an hour or something. Um. To do big to do big boy, and I Google a lot of stuff. Um, but my rule is, if I Google it, I have to learn about it. So, for instance, do you all know? You might. Um, what the official name of Fort Knox is? Mm-mm. Fort Cox. <laughs> yeah, it's Fort Cox. <laughs> it's actually Fort Penis. <laughs> <laughs> It's the United States Bullion Dispensary. Dispensary Depository. Oh. Oh, he's... Isn't that fun? He's checking our litter box. Oh. Wow, what a time. <laughs> what a time to fucking get up and just scoop the fucking litter oh, box. Hey, and now hey, he's going to do the, the podcast instead. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Ben? <laughs> ben, co- third co-host of Way Too Brad, has gotten up <laughs> mid my obsession to scoop cat litter... As if saying, your obsession is cat poo-poo. Listen. No, listen. Hazel is sick. She's having Aww. trouble peeing, so I'm trying to check if she actually peed. Oh, did she? I'm sorry, I feel like a jerk. Did she pee? I don't think she did. Oh. Oh, I, poor baby. I could have warned you, Aaron. I already knew. So, I'm, oh. I'm the jerk. Yeah, you're the jerk around here. <laughs> But, um, so anyway, I've been learning fun facts like that, um, and I learned, what else did I learn? I don't remember the word for the other thing I learned, (laughs) but, um, it's been really fun. And then last night I was doing my crossword before bed because I'm old and Molly was hanging out in the bed and then ended up, I asked her a couple of things and she ended up watching me and then participating we just had a lot of fun we just laughed a lot um she she would would offer an answer that would work and then she would also it, with equal confidence she would say something that totally fit and then she would also say something that she was just <laughs> guessing at <laughs> like one one <laughs> one clue had it was four letters and i already had the w and then it was blank u and it was like hype was the clue, and she was like, "What <laughs> was her offering?" <laughs> or like, I had a, I had a pi, and then an et, and she was like, "Pilot." Or <laughs> 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 a few memorable ones, but like with equal, like she presented them in equal fashion, and so she kind of became an unreliable <laughs> crossword friend. But we had a lot of fun. So that was fun. Doing it together was nice. And I've just wanted to, like, work on the big crossword today. I haven't had time. I always love when I come with an obsession that I would, like, rather be doing instead of <laughs> recording this podcast. I think that that is true. That is true obsession. <laughs> yeah. So. You are right. And I think they're interesting. I've been watching videos and sharing some in the NYT cro- mi- Crossword Mini channel about um, people who make crosswords and... Just been really interesting. I'd watch those videos if I were you, Ben. <laughs> I just said that in a weird way. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you'll watch those videos. <laughs> I recommend this video. If your name is Ben. I, rec- I recommend those videos. <laughs> so anyway. That's all. Crosswords. Crosswords. Yeah, that's been a real fun channel to be in, and I yeah, like... I love it so far. <laughs> <laughs> I love that uh, it reminds me to do it because I get, like, some notifications of other people's mm-hmm. times every day. Yeah. And we have a good system, Ben. The rule is, since you're new to the channel, you may talk about spoilers. You have to thread it. The spoilers are in threads. So if you haven't done the crossword yet... You don't go into the threads, and if you want to talk spoilers, thread it on your flippin' thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the flippin' rule. Okay. Oh, Kylie would love spoilers it. Spoilers and threads. 
She's, you got it, boss. She loves threads. <laughs> Does she? Kylie loves, loves threads. threads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kylie's got a fucking hard on for threads. <laughs> uh, she hates well, when people reply that. to things not in threads. Makes mm, her so it is kind of. I remember when threads came out in, in Slack, and I was excited about them, but I had coworkers who were like, it's going to make things noisy. And I'm like, no, it's not. Opposite. Noisy? I like threads so much. I know. It's so stupid. I like threads so much. I wish there were threads in threads. You- Let's take it one <laughs> step further. I do agree with that. I, You know, um, I... I always thought that they would make things harder to find later. I feel that about Slack overall, like chats in general, mm-hmm. like they're very of the moment. It's hard to go back and find things in them. You can search. Yeah, I know. You can. I know. But um, <laughs> I use Teams for work for chat and I like mm-hmm. it in a lot of ways, but it, I miss threads because you can't reply to people in, in th- you know, in threads underneath their their comments anywhere in there. Mm, yeah. Threads are, are muy importante. Muy. Muy. Or just to be able to, or, or, or like quote reply, right? Like in WhatsApp, mm. there's no threads, but you can quote reply, which kind of, you know, helps. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, cool. anyway, crosswords, do them. Crosswords, do some. With someone you love. Mm-hmm. Or by yourself. Yep. Okay. Sorry. What's up, Hannah? I know you heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The cat was making a scene, but he's good now. Ben, what's your obsesh? Kit cats. <laughs> oh, Kit cats. Kit cats. It's Kit cats. <laughs> <laughs> Kit cats. It was my birthday. We talked about it. Mm-hmm. It's well known. I like fun Japanese flavors of Kit Kats. Also, my friend that we went to Japan with, Kyle, also really likes Kit Kats a lot. And when we were in Japan, we would always try to find the most fun flavors of Kit Kats. So he and my other friend, Jonathan, his boyfriend that we went to Japan with, you know, this is all backstory. Uh, mm-hmm. For my birthday, they sent me a bunch of Kit Kats from a website called OMG Japan, which has the shipping super extensive because it is from Japan, but their Kit Kat selection is so great, and I actually have ordered mm. some more now because nice. I've been made aware of this website, um, including Hojicho, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but just to run down some of these flavors, I'm, in fact, I'm just going to run through the flavors and talk about how much I like, how which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and we'll just go... In the order of the picture that I took. We got salt lemon. Uh, There are a couple different salt ones. Uh, There's salt lemon, ocean salt, and salt lychee. All of them are really good. Salt lemon's probably my favorite of the three. Salt lychee has, like, is also really good, but the the lychee flavor is really great, but it does have kind of like a perfumey slash, like, bath salty aftertaste, Mm. I would say. Um... But generally, I really like it. Ocean salt is kind of bland and then like a little bit of salt at the end. It's it's nice. It kind of just tastes like a white chocolate Kit Kat with a little bit of saltiness. Mm. What does the ocean... Cool. How does the ocean come into it? It's sea salt. Oh. What do you mean? When we say sea salt, it's- are you like, how does the sea come into it? <laughs> yeah, no, but I don't say ocean salt. <laughs> she says sea salt. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's the same. <laughs> it's just different. It's a uh, you. You're under maritime. Do you law know what the sea is? It. Do you know what the sea and the ocean? <laughs> the same. Man, you're you're blasting Hannah right now. I had the same question. Thank you. Okay, sea salt is not. You don't break that down into the two word components. Mm-hmm. You're not like oh yeah, sea, which is ocean <laughs> salt. You it's like it's sea salt. Right. It's just what? one word, Ben. Yeah. No, it's not. It's literally, it's literally not one <laughs> it's word. Literally not. But I'm just saying when you and it, are, it describes when, salt that comes from the ocean. Know, That's how they make it. Think of- I know, but we're not thinking about it like that, okay? Why not? Because what do you think when you see sea salt? Okay, then when you see... Okay, hold on. Then when you see sea salt, are you like, this is just salt? Yeah. Or do you no, think there's something not, special about this salt? 
I'm not <laughs> thinking about the ocean right in that moment. Okay, what are you thinking then? <laughs> I'm thinking it's that salt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, I bet that thinking, salt tastes good. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking. Why? But why matter. though? It's you're thinking, thinking it's special in some way. But why? What, in what way might it be special? <laughs> I don't feel like you understand what I'm trying to say to you. It's like it's as I if it in our minds, Ben. It's as if sea salt is a brand name almost. Like you come exactly. Like thank you. This 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 salt, which originated from the ocean, is called sea salt. And that's what it's called. So to say ocean salt implies that there's like a seaweedy fra- er, fragrance you or did, flavor. You yeah. did just say me. comes from the ocean, though. I know I did, but it. I didn't say ocean salt, did I? Different this connotations, most, This is then. the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it's different, different. It's just a different connotation. I think you're wrong. Yes, thank I you. Think, Hannah is, I and think I are right. The listeners are going to back me up. Yeah, no, right in, When listeners. you say sea salt, if you were to describe it as like... Dead sea salt, you'd be like, What the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> you might have questions. Yeah. Baltic sea salt. Is it a translation thing? I don't think I would, because then I'd think, Oh, this came from the Baltic Sea. It's like when you say Himalayan pink salt. I'm like, Oh, this came from the Himalayas. Mm. Yeah, but it's got a dolphin on it, on the packaging. <laughs> So <laughs> dolphins live in the fucking ocean. What's your why, point? Why are we on blast right? Now? Just, That's my cue. I just, why the fuck? I think we need because to hear from our listeners on this. I think the, the listeners have to settle salt. this. We, we need to know, listeners. Do you think Ben is right in thinking it's weird that we thought there would be something different, something more than sea about salt, ocean salt about ocean salt flavor, or do you think that Ben? No, we are right. Who I which I don't know which one I said first. Do you think we're right or do you think we're right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. All right, continue. We're not boycotting it. We just had a <laughs> okay. Please continue. Uh, next flavor in the picture is chestnut, which is probably my least favorite of this batch. And also, it was half off, so they got me two bags of it. <laughs> and it might have been half off because it's not great. It's not mm. terrible. It's got like, it's like kind of almondy up front and then out back. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> out back, it's just like super nutty, like almost to the point mm. where you like feel like you have like a dry nut in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Honestly, the mouthfeel of it is bizarre for the fact that it's just a Kit Kat. Um, it's just a Kit Kat. And, but it's like fine. It's not terrible. There's nothing worse um, than a dry nut. Would you say nut? the flavor profile? <laughs> Is like a like a canned chestnut or like a chestnut roasted by an open fire, sort of. I've never had a chestnut before, so I don't know how accurate okay. it is to the flavor mm-hmm. of chestnut. Does it does it taste like Jack Frost snipping at your nose? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, hmm. That's too bad. Uh, then we got yuzu matcha, mm. which is quite nice. Uh, yuzu. Mm. Artificial flavored stuff can risk almost tasting like piney, like like a mm. if it's like too strong. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job balancing it, and the fact that this with matcha, which is like also quite strong, I think mm. is good because it can't like get overpowered. For those that don't know, yuzu is a Japanese citrus fruit that is it's like it's kind of lemony, but it's a little sweeter. Uh, it's delicious. Yuzu matcha is great. Uh, then we got, it's not brand name Oreo ice cream, but it's like cookies and cream ice cream. Like it has pictures of like Mm. fake Oreos on the front of it. Um, this is one I've had before actually, and it's okay, but as can happen a lot with cookies and cream flavored stuff in general, it's like a little overly sweet, Mm -hmm. uh, but it's pretty good. We got premium mint, which is like dark chocolate and it's got like mint wafers and that shit's bomb. So 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 good. It's just dark chocolate like and mint, that. though. So like, you don't like you mint. don't like mint stuff, right? I don't like mint chocolate. It's anything. I love mint chocolate. Yeah, most people love do. It. It's a me thing. I know. <laughs> There's I don't also like it. what about this one though? There's also citrus mint in this batch. It's not chocolate at all. Ben Hazel just the came out of the is like box citrus again. Oh. Time check for me. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh, yeah, it's fresh Gross. Leave that in for the What's- podcast. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with Hazel, by the way? She's having trouble peeing. We got some medication mm-hmm. that we actually have to give her right after Rudim recording uh, okay. to help her pee better. <laughs> Make her pee. <laughs> it might... This is this is it's so weird. Cats' bodies are weird because we we thought it might be a UTI, and then we went to the vet yesterday, and she was like, "We think it's probably more likely this thing called fem- feline lower urinary tract disease, which is basically just a name for the fact that sometimes when cats get stressed, they inflame their own bladder and urethra, and there's no bacterial infection." <laughs> And it's just such a bizarre, and they have no idea why it happens, like, physiologically, because it doesn't really make sense as a stress reaction in, like, the wild for you to inflame your own bladder. (laughs) I'll show you. (laughs) Do you think that that happens, apparently? Maybe maybe if something is, like, scenting you, it's better to not pee for a while or something? Oh, maybe. Oh. I solved it. So we got her a pain reliever and a urethra relaxer. (laughs) Wow. <laughs> but we also learned, because we were worried about potential blockages, because that can be really bad, we also learned those almost never happen in female cats, apparently. Oh, They're almost okay. exclusively in male cats. Um, cool. Back to Kit Cats. <laughs> Hannah, leave yeah, yeah. all that in. All that shit about cat pee, leave it all <laughs> in here. I'm going to. Um, that's good stuff. That's great stuff. It's educational. Uh <laughs> We got strawberry. Oh, this one's really good. We got strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Mm. Oh, which does okay. that sound like a great ice cream flavor that I've never had yes. before? Strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. Like, come on, <laughs> um, get out of here. I've actually had so I, in Japan, strawberry Kit Kats are quite common. You can even get them in America pretty re- pretty easily. I think um, they also had strawberry cheesecake in Japan, which is just like strawberry but like a little bit more cheesecakey. <laughs> mm. And then this one's strawberry cheesecake ice cream, which is like tastes very similar to the strawberry cheesecake ones from what I remember. But okay. they are oh, look, I hate to bring it back there again, all right, but you just said <laughs> it's like strawberry but a little bit more cheesecakey, right? So how yeah. is it re- reasonable for you to make that assumption, but it's not reasonable for us to think that ocean salt is like salt but a little more oceany? <laughs> Because you don't make that assumption about sea salt, <laughs> dumbass. But it's different, different thing. We, no, it's literally like, not. The, it's not different. I it's the same like, thing. Well, I feel like it's reasonable for us to assume that they have some nuance if they're calling it a different thing, okay? Yeah. I think it's more reasonable to think that maybe there's not separate words for sea and ocean in Japanese, so it translated into ocean salt. Maybe. Why are we making assumptions? Maybe that's a you problem, well, you, then, Ben. You just said you're making assumptions. Maybe that's a you problem and not a us problem, because maybe you could have better translated it for us. I didn't translate it. It says it on the fucking bag. <laughs> It why? says ocean why? salt just... in English on the bag. I don't know why he's so heated about it. I feel like it's a fair... Because fair, I don't it's have like any... Question. I, it, it's, it's absolutely... It's flabbergasting to me <laughs> that you would think that the word ocean salt implies seaweed or other like low tidy flavors, but the word sea salt implies none of that for you. That's amazing. That is That's a totally ridiculous. normal assumption in my mind. Like I could not Absolutely feel more justified not. in feeling that way. It makes no sense. I'm, I'm putting up a poll. <laughs> poll and slack. Poll and slack. I'm doing it in food. This is very appropriate. Yes, this is extremely perfect. food. This is what food is for. <laughs> All right. Well, now, um, okay. What more? What other flavors do you have? I got you all off. Last track. one, uh, custard pudding. Oh, that sounds good. Which is quite delicious. And apparently, they have like directions that are in Japanese on the back for putting it in like uh, putting them in a toaster oven, so they get like brulee on the top. Uh-huh. Um, I don't have a toaster oven, but I was thinking about trying that in the oven at some point because i feel like a toaster oven is just a little baby oven so why not do it in the oven Mm -hmm. um fair because that sounds dope as hell they're definitely delicious on their own though oh and then i said i mentioned hojicha also because so after this after i i got that gift i went to this website and i mentioned order a bunch of other kit kats not a bunch of others but ones i did order were hojicha and then the following day as part of our family secret snack exchange, 
Molly sent me a bag of hojicha Kit Kats, which are my favorite flavor. It's roasted green tea, for those that don't know. Uh, and they're fucking I delicious. You, I think you should explain what the family secret snack exchange is, <laughs> though. Yeah, I feel like people can get it from It's like the Secret name. Santa, but for snacks. Yeah. I feel like that was pretty self-explanatory. Yep, like ocean salt is. Yeah. Hold on, I'm, I'm putting up a, a, a poll. Okay. So yeah, I'm sending the poll. I can't add questions. You can't vote on multiple. Cool. Voted. I also voted. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. I'm doing an at channel. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. <laughs> By your channel, you're about to notify 13 people in four times. That's, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sending that out. <laughs> you fucking bet. <laughs> Very important. I have to say, I feel like um, even when we don't like mention what day we're recording, often our family figures it out from the context clues <laughs> of the dumb bullshit we get up to in Slack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, cool. Well, oh, did you have more flavors, Ben? Uh, not here, no. That's all the ones I have in my apartment currently. I got more Hojuji Kit Kats coming. And also mm-hmm. orange chocolate, which is just a classic Ooh, and it's going to be delicious. Yeah. And another one that I cannot remember, I think. I've had the lemon one, not the lemon salt, but like the lemon one that, you know, you can get around here. Maybe it is lemon salt. It's good. Yeah, I've had that one as well. It is quite, quite delicious. Quite, quite. I have to say that, you know... As much of a scene as... Oh, I got Halloween apple pie. That oh, was the one I got. wow. Ooh, Halloween apple pie? Yeah, and it's like purple. I don't know why. Halloween. <laughs> That's why. I, I guess, know. yeah. You know. As much of a scene as Jack did cause in his own way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, we're getting outvoted here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who, who said that? Who did it? It would oh. be <laughs> from sea salt. Like, perhaps taste a little like seaweed or something else. What the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> like boat. A, or submarine. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes a little like, like metal. metal. Or fiberglass. <laughs> or, or sand. Or, or like shell. sand or boat or submarine. Or clam. I think this just demonstrates that Hannah and I have a more... A vivid imagination <laughs> and a more, more are more open everyone to nuance. Please go vote I think in, we're more. Everyone, think, everyone, please go vote <laughs> in the poll in food. Thank you. I think, I think we're more open to nuance, and that's that. Sure. Ben just did a Marco Polo to our big family group. That's what you heard. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad I at least have you on my team, Aaron, because we're correct. <laughs> yeah, we. I felt like it was a reasonable. What I don't understand is Ben's anger, because <laughs> I think it's a fine question. And if I were in his position, I'd be like, oh, no, they just mean sea salt. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, oh chill, chill, chill. Fuck off, chill. Kylie. Oh, Kylie. Yes, Kylie. Yes. Team Kylie. Another one. 50 50, bitches. The smart women. Wow, this is completely split by gender right now. Yes, because otherwise, why wouldn't they just say sea salt translation? <laughs> but why would we assume that? <laughs> we have to finish the episode before we continue this argument. Molly! <laughs> but why put a dolphin next to it? Kylie's bringing a... Thank I'm you! What do you mean? Why put a do- dolphin swim in the ocean where sea salt comes from? What do you mean? Why put a dolphin next to it? <laughs> I wonder if this all- what if this ends up falling along gender lines? That would be so interesting. No that would be so interesting. But it has a fish association. Thank you. Dolphins are on, a fish. I'm, I'm gonna. Why are you angry about it, Ben? <laughs> Please, this is ben, ridiculous. Ben, I really don't know why you're angry about it. We're more open to. I'm gonna Marco Polo, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, important question: If you were to see a Kit Kat named Ocean Salt. <laughs> Would you assume that it tasted just like sea salt, or would you assume it had some other flavor nuance profile to it? 
Kylie, speaking for all of us, writing in the chat, oh, can 100%. someone make Ben stop yelling? <laughs> I'm going to tell her we're trying. Molly, Molly's against us. I know, I know. <sighs> it's not ocean flavor. <laughs> ben is mad about this. Have you? <laughs> for no <laughs> conceivable... <laughs> Salt, salt water, that's ocean salt. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally sea salt. <laughs> okay. Homework. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> I think Kylie talked about this in our Marco Polo. Oh, did Because <laughs> I was yelling about it. <laughs> Because she heard you yelling about it? Yeah. Oh. oh my god, when you're causing a scene. Hold on, I'll play it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. I was wondering if that's what she was doing. I just want to say, I because he was sc- been yelling right now on the podcast with Hannah and Aaron, and he's exclaiming that that it's impossible for there to be a different connotation between sea salt and ocean salt, and I just want to let Hannah know, who I'm assuming he's arguing with, that she's right. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Kylie is such a ride or die. I love her. Kylie. That was um like half an hour ago or something. That was like <laughs> before this poll. <laughs> could he scream? I could hear him yelling while she was talking. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> um, see, now you can see why Marco Polo is fun. Um, all right. <laughs> can we please do homework? Please let me compliment my cat and do homework. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know. That no, sounds great. I have a crossword to get to. I know we said Jack was going to make a scene, and he did make a little bit of a scene. But right, but he has not scratched at the door at all. He's like sitting on the floor by the door, just like chilling. Being a sweet boy nice. and just patiently waiting for me to open the door. So I think that no. deserves praise because he's never done this before well, when I've let him be in here during the podcast. So good, good, job, good Jack. job, Jack. You did make a scene. We all anticipated that, but you were also a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Homework. My homework is. Um, watch the trailer for the new Dune movie. If it's something that seems interesting to you and you haven't watched any of the miniseries or whatever, I mean, I guess in that case, don't watch the 1984 movie first because it's not going to tell you anything about the story. But, um, you know, if you, if you want a fun time, check it out. It's on HBO Max, I think. I think that's where we watched it. Oh, wait, we got Maddie. I take back my answer. I oh. would be very disappointed if I learned those Kit Kat were salty rather than tasting like all the life in the ocean. <laughs> oh, we didn't get him. <laughs> oh. It's a change your poll answer, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he did. Uh, he, did. he did. Oh, yes. We're winning. We won. We're back to winning. Wow. Hell we're yeah. Winning. Oh. Amazing. This is just, this is like the most exciting sport I've watched in months. <laughs> Possibly in my life. <laughs> um, all right. And, uh, yeah, that's my only homework. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Anthropology. I'm on Instagram at Anthropology. And, um, I have another podcast called So Dreamy. We talk about dreams. I had a dream the other night that I, uh, I had a very sexual dream where someone bit into me like a grilled cheese. So, um, that's the sort of stuff I would be talking about, uh, on the podcast if it was still running right now. So there you go. Um, Aaron, 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 what's your homework? <laughs> yeah, my name is Aaron. <laughs> Let's see. My homework is go to New York Times, do their crossword puzzle, or whoever makes crossword puzzles that you like. Do the mini. Dip your toe in. <laughs> what? what? Ben, I put sea salt out of my pizza. <laughs> is there a fish on that salt? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's not sea salt. We don't have sea salt. <laughs> Just not the fuck I'm gonna take the L. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, Aaron, what's your homework? What's up? My homework <laughs> was oh to do their crossword puzzle. <laughs> do the mini. Take your tip your toe in, and then do the big boy. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, I meant to point everyone. We're all just lost in this. We're lost in this <laughs> Kit Kat thread. We're, we're in the but weeds. <laughs> we're in the weeds here. But there is a great article. I'm going to give you the name of it so you can. It's called How to Solve the New York Times Crossword. And um, I'm just realizing a different brother than I thought posted it. Dominic actually posted it. Mm. And it's a great crossword puzzle <laughs> article. <laughs> and it's <laughs> from the New York Times. And they basically say... Looking things up is not cheating. It's how you learn. And so, and they give you explicit permission to do so. So that makes me feel empowered. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the haters to go, um, shut up (laughs) and everything. So do the crossword. It's a great time. Cool. Do it with someone you love. Do it by yourself. Cool. Cool. Great job, Aaron. Ben. Ben, what's your homework? Get some fun Kit Kats. OMG Japan is a great source. They're cheap, but the shipping's a lot. Uh, you can also get them other places where maybe the shipping's less, but the Kit Kats cost more. Mm. Up to you. <laughs> um, if you order as many as my friends did for me, it's probably worth it to go to the place where the Kit Kats themselves are much cheaper. Mm-hmm. Often that's true, especially with small items. <clears throat> Buy a lot at a time. Uh, my Twitter's nicely proved Ben. My Twitch is Disco Greg. Uh, Greg. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, watch Ben's stream. Uh, if you want to call us and tell us what you think about ocean salt versus sea salt, um, you can do that. We have a voicemail at 774-326-0420. Please do that if you're not able blaze to vote it. on the poll. Please. Yeah, blaze it. Please do that if you're not able to vote on the poll uh, in food. Uh, give us a call. Tell us what where you stand on the great salt debate of 2020. Um, <clears throat> we're on Twitter at Too Broad Pod. We're on Instagram at Way Too Broad. You can email us also your opinion about the Great Salt Debate at Way Too Broad at Gmail dot com. Um, if you missed any of that, we have a website where all of our contact information is listed at Way Too Broad dot com. And uh, for anything you want, EarnBen dot com for anything you need. MaxFun dot com, MaxFun dot org for all the sweetness on the internet. And, um, please leave us a review, uh, leave us a five-star review and let us know in there, you know, whether you think that ocean salt should also taste like seaweed or dolphins or something. (laughs) Or both. (laughs) Hold on, Sarah responded to me. What did she say? Okay, here we go. I'm worried this is a trick question. I feel like if I saw a Kit Kat flavor and it said ocean salt, I would assume it was like sea salt. But if it's like weird and fishy... Or like seaweedy? Does it still have the chocolate? Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, so she would assume it was okay. sea salt. She's okay. not with us. Thank you, Sarah. But it's like I don't understand why it's a big deal that we didn't assume it'd be like sea salt. <laughs> yeah, the, it's really the emotional. <laughs> because reaction. you were treating me like I was the fucking weirdo for thinking <laughs> no. that it was normal for it to be sea salt. Not you, no. Aaron. Hannah was. No, I wasn't. Uh, All I did was ask a question. <laughs> And you kind of were hot right off. You- sure. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you sound like a weirdo. I just... You made him sound like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And then that's it. So the podcast candle... Listen, the debate may not be extinguished, but the podcast must end. <laughs> the debate may never be extinguished. <laughs> so the podcast candle is now extinguished. Goodbye. Have a nice week. Have a great life. (laughs) 